Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm back, guys. I'm back. Welcome, Aries. I hope everyone is doing well during this quarantine team. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what's going on. This is going to be a case of the ex um, edition, okay? So this is how your ex views you or views the situation. Just like, you know, just how they view things, their side of the story, okay? So let's get into it, guys. If you're new to my channel, click that bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out. All right. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your family and your friends. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, these are general reads. If you would like to purchase your very own personal reading, okay, I am currently running a special $44.44. You can ask me two questions. Okay, one of the questions are is going to be answered utilizing the pendulum. Okay, so one of the questions has to be a yes or no question. Okay, um, you will get a full detailed reading. Okay, and if you would like to book your own reading, the information is in the drop box below. All right, let's get started. Aries, let's get started. What's going on with my Aries? How does Aries X feel about Aries? Okay, let's take a look and see. They could feel like you've been very distant, okay? We got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, okay? So they don't feel as connected to you as they once did, okay? The passion may have been there in the past because we have passion, okay? So the passion could have been there in the past. We also have love yourself first. And we also have calling in your soulmate. All right, so let's see. We got passion here. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is passion here? Ace of Pentacles. Then we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone here is in love with their money or is like putting themselves... They, they, Aries, your ex feels like you're self-absorbed, okay? You're focused around yourself. You're focused on your career, your money, your your best interest you know like you're this you're this energy queen of pentacles okay like you can make love to the money nine of pentacles okay why is the ace of pentacles here you could be dealing with a scorpio but someone is trying to avoid something here avoid a disaster why is the tower card here The emperor, you guys. <laughs> maybe they feel as well as maybe you're trying to avoid them. Avoid having sex with them. Someone here is done. Oh, I'm getting a third party. We got the seven of swords and the empress and the ten of wands. I'm getting that. Someone feels someone lies too much. Like someone is a liar. We got mother and father energy here. There could be a mother and a father involved. Someone's feeling like they've been taken advantage of. Why is the emperor here? Two of swords. Okay, maybe you, they felt like you didn't want to give them a commitment. Okay, the Hierophant, Taurus's energy, they were waiting too. They waited it out to see how they want, they want to get married. Someone here wants to get married, like, I'm getting a marriage. Someone wants something very much so long term. They want it written down on paperwork, Google. <laughs> so they could feel like you wanted to to get married, okay? But someone does not want to make that commitment. Someone's not making that commitment here. They could feel like they waited 
on you or you waited on them. Why is the two of swords here? Woo. And they feel like <laughs> you're not over them. You haven't moved on. Someone hasn't moved on, okay? This is an ongoing thing. There's always some back and forth thing. Like, this is ongoing, okay? And it's not completely finished. Someone isn't over someone, okay? I don't know if the sex is good, um, something to that nature, but someone hasn't moved on. It's like you're not going nowhere. I'm getting it as well. Like, they could feel like they have you on lock. Like, you're not going anywhere. Two of swords and six of swords. Like, you ain't going nowhere. Why is love yourself first here? So, in the past, they felt like they had you Okay. We got the three of cups. Oh, and a five of swords. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm getting some bad influences, okay? Maybe you're hanging around the wrong group of people. Somebody's hanging around the wrong group of people. I feel like your ex feels like you hang around the wrong group of people, okay? We got the five of swords and the three of cups. This three of cups is people that are supposed to be your friends, okay? The five of swords is saying that they will stab you in the back at any given chance, any given time, they'll throw you under the bus, okay? I feel like your ex feels as if you should have put yourself first um, because you don't have real friends. These people aren't your real friends. They're jealous. So I'm getting like they're jealous of you, okay? Why is the five of swords here? Jealous of the relationship, jealous of how you look, jealous. There's just jealousy, okay? Temperance. King of Cups. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius could be involved. But someone here, I'm getting like jealous friends. Someone keeps running back, telling you things. Your friends. I'm getting like no good friends, okay? So, Aries, this person thinks that you hang around the wrong crowd, okay? That someone is running back, keep running back, telling them stuff. Yeah, see? Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Keep telling your secrets. Okay, things that are supposed to be a secret. Somebody's snitching here. Somebody's t somebody is like telling some telling your business or something to that nature. They feel like you don't have any good friends. Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate. Six of Pentacles. All right. Some of you may be dealing with someone that may be um, locked up. We got Eight of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with someone that's locked up or someone that is just feeling... I'm getting like someone feels stuck or trapped. Okay, calling in your soulmate. Someone's stuck in the past. Okay, and I'm seeing that too, Six of Cups. Someone is stuck in the past, like, they can't move forward because the way they view things are outdated. Why is the five of cups in the reverse here? Okay. Someone, <laughs> somebody done tried the Aries. You don't want to regret getting into no altercation. But somebody got you, somebody got Aries messed up. Okay. But I feel like. Someone here is calling their soulmate in. Maybe they want to reach out to you. I'm getting like they want to reach out to you, okay? Um, but they don't want to regret something here. They don't want to regret getting into an altercation. But it's something that they think about. Like they, they keep replaying something over and over in their mind about you. And they don't want to, They, I feel like they want to take action, but they don't want to regret it. Why is the five of wands here?
Okay, yeah, see, I feel like going into the near future, someone now wants, they want to give you the commitment that you wanted. Now, remember previously, they didn't want to give you that commitment in the past. Now, look at them. They're wanting to give you some commitment that you want, okay? For some of you, it's marriage and engagement. I'm, I'm sitting like, they could come back around and want to get engaged or take things to the next level, okay? I'm getting that someone also may be working a lot or is tired all the time, too. Why is it too offensive? Okay. Someone's keeping something a secret, okay? I'm, I'm getting, like, keeping something a secret. You're into... Someone's intuition is telling them to keep something a secret, okay? Don't let people know about the relationship or marriage. I'm getting that there is possibly a marriage here, okay? We got the Ten of Pentacles, Justice, the Lovers. I'm getting, like, there could be, like, a secret marriage. Like, like I feel like... Your ex wants to come back around and, like, give you this proposal, but it's, like, going to be, like, some type of secret, like, like, it's something that comes out of the blue. Either they don't want you to, they don't want you to, um, tell your, your friends or something to that nature, like, they I'm getting, like, they're wanting a more private love life is what I'm getting as well. Aries, that's strange. This is quite different. Different energy for Aries. Aries, give me a past, present, future energy for Aries, please. We got photograph and love. Okay, so this person does love you. Like, they got unconditional love for you. Okay, like they're really attracted to you. They may be looking at your pictures. Okay, looking at your pictures and thinking of you, missing you, nostalgia. Like, I get it. Like, this person really loves you. Like, this person really cares about you. And, like, they're finding ways to call you back in like they're looking at your pictures kissing it and like that's a form of magic okay so we have the sword and the rose they want to talk look at this paradise and then talking i'm telling you an engagement ring well i'm telling you somebody they want a commitment now is what i'm getting like if they didn't get a commitment from you before or they played like they didn't want one they want one now we have engagement talking and paradise okay and engagement in paradise is all about being engaged and getting married okay and there's talk about it okay ace of swords which is the sword and uh, the sword and rose clarity truth honor protection power but this is also sharp communication this is also gaining clarity and communication show me future energy show me future energy addiction look at that and seduction want to come out. This is the same two cards that came out for, I think it was Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But there's lots of like, I'm getting like, there is an addiction here. Like, you guys can't stay off away from each other. Like, uh, there's an obsession, possession. You guys are really, really attracted to each other. There's a lot of flirting, hooking up temptation like i don't feel like you two are like i don't feel like y'all are separable right now i feel like you guys are very much so together like or thinking about each other really 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 a lot <laughs> a lot is aries x constantly thinking of aries is aries x constantly thinking of aries and it looks like they are Look at that. They can't get you off of their mind. Wow. Let's look at advice. Let's see. Let's see what the angels have to say. Aries. Aries.
What message is there for Aries? I got if you believe, helpful people, and reconsider. Ask your angels, okay? I'm getting there's a yes, and success is on the way, too. I'm getting that there's some type of success. There's something There's something headed your way, okay? And it's something that seems like it's abundant and blessed. Like, it's, it's, it's a blessing, okay? So we got if you believe, if you believe, why is if you believe here is here? Look at this. <laughs> you got to envision exactly what it is that you want. Okay. Envision, take the time to meditate on exactly what it is that you want. If you can believe it, if you could see it, then it could be manifested into your reality. Okay. Four of swords. This person is just laying here thinking. Okay. This person is meditating. If you believe, this is a form of magic, okay? This is envisioning, um, you know, envisioning your outcome, how you want to see things go, how you, you go ahead and envision it, okay? I feel like a lot of you are already doing that. Like, you already can see what and how you want things to go. All right, we got helpful people. I'm getting like get new people to talk to. We got the strength card. There could be a Leo involved. The King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm definitely picking up on Aquarius because we got the star card here. But I'm getting like surround yourself with new people to talk to. Okay. And then we got reconsider. The tower. Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio. But something needs to be reconsidered. Okay. Avoid something. Let's see. Why is the tower card here? Avoid the back and forth. Okay. Someone could been could have been a player. Okay, because we got this Knight of Wands and he's in the reverse, and we got the King of Wands. Somebody was being a little player player. Okay. But I'm getting that. There is a moment where someone reconsiders this, okay? Um, there's a lot of passion here. This person really has a lot of passion for you. They have a bond and a connection with you. And here we go again. I'm getting the husband, okay? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, um, Hierophant card here. This is husband, okay? Husband, wife. It's a marriage. It's a union, okay? It's a bond, a connection. Things are getting ready to go to the next level. I feel like someone is dropping their habits of being in and out, okay? Someone wants to return. Someone wants to return to you. Um, I feel like your ex wants to come back to you. If you guys, if this message resonated with you guys, hit the thumbs up. All right, comment below. Let me know what's going on. And don't forget to share with your family and your friends. Book your own personal read. Book your personal reading with me, guys. The information is in the drop box below, all right? Until next time, ciao.